Yo, what's up guys, welcome back. So Orcust, well, this was kind of expected, right? We got Harbarer back with three in the DCG and uh, I'm not so sure, like, is Orcus at full power in the OCG as well? I should recheck that, but um, it's intriguing. You know, the, the deck has a lot of one card starters. I think the Horus engine, Horus engine is um, is fantastic. You know, the, the free discard definitely helps. I prefer that one over Greffer any day. Um, the deck also got one Armageddonite back, so Armageddonite at 2. So this is the current deck. I like this one because, uh, first of all, again, as I mentioned before, it has a lot of uh, one-card starters, plus you, you have so much room to run hand traps and uh, non-engine cards, looking at 3 Nip, 3 Imperm, 3 Droll, 3 Ash, um, Talons, if you want, obviously, and uh, where is it? The Fenrir. Fenrir, again, fantastic. Especially going second uh, against something like Fire Kings, you know, they have their full board set up with Mascarina, drop Fenrir, and that brings them in a, you know, a, a tough position that already forces out one of the uh, interruptions, right, that rather maybe they want to keep. Go first against Sword Soul, get Impermed on Armageddon Knight, and the big deal and weakness I still have, or I feel still is there with Orcust, is um, if the normal summon is um, Impermed or Veilert or, you know, negated like Armageddon Knight or Girsu, um, your place might stop, but... You know, stuff like Horus uh, could get out uh, a potential Orcust from your hand into the graveyard to, you know, still keep extending. So the, the Epo prevents the, uh, you know, I, I guess, Sword Soul from setting up and Ash keeps me in a duel that prevents the Long Yuan from being added to the hand. This was a nice top deck, Orcus Nightmare, and, you know, that's why the Horus engine is there to freely get it in the graveyard, plus another Horus name in the grave as well, which is basically free summons, and this should be the OTK. Now, I think we know that there is the uh, Nip in hand, do we know it? Also another advantage of Horus is getting out of the Photon Lord, um, because again, no Savage, no Baron, so that's two Omni Negations gone to, um, you know, potentially give any deck the uh, capability to play around Nip or play into Nip. Not so sure if I was able to go for a game. I don't think so, especially with the, um, you know, the rank 8 Exceed play there, to make sure that I had something for the uh, for Nip. And uh, Ecclesia is getting the gate, so this should be my duel. Next turn are their follow-up plays next to Horus. Only the Horus cards. Galatea for the field spell search. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I should have searched a draw card. Unle well, it doesn't matter. I can, yeah, go for Boral Sword and the deck for a game. <laughs> Boral Sword. It's, it kind of needed in this deck for, you know, push for OTK. It's a dark link for a potential defense if needed, but that doesn't really come up, I think. Uh, Tirlament. Tirlament got malicious. Malicious at three. So let's see. Um, I get Bistealed, and that's a problem. But I still have fuel left, so let's see. I get Druus from this well. So two Bistealed. That's two big answers for this deck. Talent reveals their hands, and I send back Super Poly, and I was like, okay, this should be my duel already. Set up my board. Uh, I think I'm... Am I locked? No, not yet. Not locked into fire just yet. Um, so let's see, I go for a Crescendo, so that makes me, uh, at least kind of forces me to have a Galatea on field or any Orcus link. And this might be a strange play. Thing is that I, I think this was better. Uh, you know, Excess Code Talker banishing Mascarina, and then Little Knight banishing Druid's Worm, go for Galatea. Um, set up the World Legacy card for next turn, but... Mm. You know, Magnemut searching and other bestial definitely hurts again. And um, this is disgusting. Like, I sent back Super Poly, and you know, it's just easy to draw another one. You're just built different. Uh, so, I need a top deck. Um, I'm going to lose my sarcophagus due to the Little Knight. And um, I don't think there's too many cards I can top deck, especially with the fusion, the, the Dragostaphilia on field. Um, but we top deck the field, uh, the continuous spell, so we can... Uh, this is so unfair. Um, I mean, okay, the Horus cards come at a disadvantage, right, consistency, but, like, look at this. One Sark, top deck, three Horus cards, and this is, again, full combo. You can go for the second Dinger, so attach one of your banished cards. And, again, this is full combo, go for the Dragon's Tephilia to give me another negation during their turn, and I can pretty much set up my entire board. I think I used Crescendo already, so go for the Field Spell for the Quick Ding Girsu play during their turn. Probably right. Uh, Girsu sent the level 3. Uh, what is it? What? Long Girsu, I believe the name is, which could be an interruption during their turn because of the monster zones, but they're not playing into it right. 
And uh, yeah, look at this man, like the deck I'm playing during your opponent's turn. Like, what is it, Orchestra deck from 2019? I think most decks are pretty much at full power again, almost at full power from 2019. Thunder Dragon, Salomon Great, Sky Striker, and Orchest. I think so. Um, go second, and um, I do use Imperm, get uh, Crosshard, that's fine. So Snake Eyes is going to end on a full board, and my hand going second is okay. Girsu as a one card starter, Fenrir as already a board breaker potentially, and Talents to break another board. So that's three solid hands. Uh, maybe best case scenario, a card I could draw is maybe the, the Destiny draw for Orcus. Do you know, discard Harp Horror, um, one of the uh, Horus cards, you know, discard Surge, that, you know, could, could be fantastic. So let's see, uh, standard place, Promethean Princess, I mean, this is nothing new. Kind of strange again that Snake Eyes wasn't, well, directly hit, sure indirectly because of Savage and uh, Baron and Linkaribo. The hit of Linkaribo, Linkaribo is kind of big. Um, so uh, I guess this is full full combo, right? Good Kirin pop, so Fenrir forces out Prometheum Princess, that's okay. Um, Ah, uh, yeah, they get Sunlight Wolf because of that. So Talents, because the Mascarina is blocked, I gain control of the, um, what is it, Flame Birch to potentially uh, hit one of my opponent's monsters as well, put it in a phase of spell and trap card zone. So by doing this, again, I dodge the Mascarina. There is no uh, Snake Eyes Field. What are the interruptions still? Uh, the Kirin is, the rank, rank 8 Exceed is an interruption, is that it? Oh, and the Quick Play spell. So let's see how this one plays out. Galatea for another search. Uh, should be searching the field spell, which, okay, gets met by the, um, what is it? The, the Fire King spell to pop to this trigger's Ponix, but I still have my, you know, continuous spell, but is there another interruption left? Oh, no, 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 yeah, 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 that's the, th that's the thing, yeah, 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 because now there is no rank 8 exceed play left, so I, can I go for a game? I don't think so. So I go for Dinger, so, ah, yes, get rid of the field spell, okay, that's a cool one, get rid of the field spell that, ah, right, there was another Ponix in, uh, in hand, otherwise this might have been game, should have been game, no? I think so. But, uh, like, look at this, like, Snake Eyes has, like, six cards in hand, full, almost full combo, but Little Knight to get rid of the field spell, first of all, and um, the Edge is getting normal summoned, and we uh, draw that, and uh, that stuns them for the entire turn, because no Fire King Island, um, and that blocks the Flame Birch in the back row as well. Uh, and now, yeah, they're only left at Little Knight, or with Little Knight. Top deck Harp Horror, that's okay, any Orcus name would have done it, uh, or any card actually, it doesn't really matter. So, you know, now it's just uh, get another beat stick on field, and basically attack for a game. Make sure that I don't summon into Nip. Uh, sure, you can use your Little Knight here, but again, it doesn't matter, because, what is it, what, uh, 1600 life points left? And, uh, woo, we returned this duel after a full Snake Ice Fire King combo. Okay, so again, going first. Uh, <laughs> Unchained. Unchained is okay. Sadly, the, uh, what is it, the... Um, Sharvara. Sharvara is still at one. Yeah, it kind, kind of a bummer for the deck. So, uh, Edge is getting negated. Maybe... Um, I mean, I think I sh should still negate the Ash, right? Because again, the Ingrisu full combo already have the field spell for quick uh, sense during their turn as well. Or potentially, if they have the nip, potentially get Galatea on field even after the nip. Um, so Nightmare sent the level 3, Reborn Galatea, and then I guess maybe pause? Ah, then Gearsu for uh, Mascarina. Yeah, Mascarina. Get back Nightmare, yups. Okay, that's uh, that's the play, I guess, during their turn. <laughs> All during draw phase, by the way. So Harp Horror, Gearsu, this gives me another name for Little Knight to banish the... Um, mm -mm -mm, banish the nip, and Galatea on field makes it so that my Crescendo set is live. So fantastic, really, really nice. I think we know the nip is it? No, no, we don't know. Yeah, the nip was dropped, so that's four unknown cards, right? The search spell is getting negated. Yup, still have little light, but um, uh, mm. ah, yeah, because of crescendo. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yep, that's GG, I guess. That's easy, <laughs> even through nip. Um, and again, as I mentioned before, like I think the horse cards are needed. Free discards plus. Uh, free rank 8, um, especially looking at Photon Lord, to make it so that you can kind of safely set up your place through Nip, that's important. So, a big pot. Um, we're keeping Ash for um, 
later, right? We saw it sprite, so we draw that, but get called by it. Okay, that's okay-ish. So <laughs> that's the deal with the format, right? You just like against snake eyes, you just throw hand traps to their face and hope you uh, survive. Again, strong Fenrir. Uh, try to get things going with the Horus cards. Uh, special summoning all of my non-darks and potentially go for the yeah, Photon Lord. Uh, not making, or at least not, you know, running into Nip. Worst case scenario, there's like Nip Imperm or something like that. So called by Unveiler to preserve the Photon Lord just in case. And this is full Orcist combo. But again, I'm not so sure if I can attack for game with Savage, not Savage, uh, Boral Sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think so. So Dengirsu forcing out your interruption. Send blue, so blue won't trigger. Um, banish the level 3, go for damage. Oh, and this should be game, yeah, because of the burn damage. <laughs> but I mean, like, like this field was uh, was solid, especially, you know, passing on another Galatea. So it's a powerful deck. It's a really powerful deck. And the fact that it can run so many hand traps and board breakers as well, it, uh, it could make this one a format contender. Okay, uh, suggestions are welcome. Guys, is it? thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or like if you enjoyed the video. Peace, I'm signing out. Peace.